50%. So uh, sentiments have changed. But let's see who or what is driving this uh, Gilbert Jokwata and our financial market analyst joins us for this conversation. Hi, Gilbert. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. It's a beautiful day in the market. <laughs> yeah, what's going on? I mean, can you imagine if an XRP had 6 to 7% up, then we finally crossed the 30% that we've been holding on for how many weeks now? What is, what is this move about? Uh, okay, the, the audience that followed uh, the session where we assessed uh, what we should expect for the second half of 2023 shouldn't uh, find this uh, surprising news. You know, we mentioned how repo case was bullish for crypto since its cost cut verdict will result in a clearer regulatory framework for the industry. And uh, this case has lingered for, for the past three years, to, yes, with a fair share of drama and intrigue. But I still consider yesterday's uh, ruling as a partial victory. And, and, and this is because, uh, according to the verdict, Repo first sold about 728 million worth of XRP directly to institutional investors. Uh, but they were never bought with the expectation that they will make profits. While the second was that uh, uh, retail investors that bought on exchanges, which was regarded there as programmatic sales through exchanges or Gary them, uh, th that the SEC could not definitely see whether as the speculative investors had a reasonable expectation for profits. But uh, what is clear is that the court verdict on, on on the sales to institution could be readdressed by the SEC uh, for them to make sure it counts as security. Uh, however, yesterday's verdict is a hallmark of several other crypto, is a hallmark for several other crypto uh, exchanges or companies out there like Binance, Coinbase, and, and Gemini, because I expect them to challenge the SEC classification of security afterwards. And uh, this will actually bring in more regulatory clarity, increase investors' confidence, boost even the price of, of cryptos. You know, as at, as at uh, yesterday in the night, we hit about over a 96% gain uh, on XRP. And this will also encourage uh, innovation in the marketplace. So uh, uh, this is a win for the cryptocurrency market. Uh, there is excitement and uh, bullish sentiment in yeah, the marketplace. But, but, but is this strong enough to sustain a bull run or is this just a, a fry in the pan? Well, te technically, when you look at uh, XROP, th there is one thing. The, the, the technical level of the market shot, it, it carries its narrative. So what happens is that the news always comes with it. Uh, I think that uh, we are about to have a fair share of, uh, of uh, an old, old rally and uh, XROP is going to lead this. And this is actually confidence on altcoin, you know, because this actually means that so many altcoins out there that were classified as security could go challenge the fact that they are not a security. So uh, the Bitcoin dominance may drop and uh, a fair share will come into alt. So I see XROP leading uh, uh, a momentum for, should I say, a rally? in the old markets. Mm. I mean, when you talk about uh, Bitcoin dominance being challenged, Gilbert, I don't know if we want to go there again. Uh, I, I guess, I thought we had, we had uh, agreed that Bitcoin is the king of crypto. It's still the king. It's still the king anyway. <laughs> but uh, uh, Bitcoin needs to let uh, some other asset breathe and have a fair share if they, are, if they are giving us fair value in the marketplace. You know, the marketplace reward those who bring in value into the market. So regardless, Bitcoin is king, but there are other several exchanges or crypto projects out there bringing real-time solution into the marketplace. So it's a good thing if they also have a fair share of the market cap. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Gilbert Jokwata, for uh, taking time out to have a conversation with us this morning. Yeah, thanks for having me.